Washington tonight, a woman wants to clear her name after her social media pages were hacked. She says that she is now being accused of theft due to her identity being used on Facebook and on Instagram. Our Brandon Walker live tonight in the newsroom with a closer look at the dilemma she's now facing. Brandon. Yeah, quite the dilemma, Daniela. We're here in the Click2Houston.com digital headquarters where our team has tracked emails from viewers who say that their Facebook and Instagram accounts were hacked by people trying to make money. But tonight, meet a mother who says not only did that happen to her, she says people showed up at her door demanding a refund for items she didn't even sell them. This is a recent picture of me, however they got it. At face value, there isn't much that will lead you to believe this isn't Britney Sparks' Instagram. Stuff like this. Until the posts about making money on the quick come within a finger swipe. This is an example of one of the posts. Posts Sparks as a hacker created, not just mired in mockery. This is my picture. But created in her likeness, also turning a profit at her expense. Now people are walking around Houston, wherever else, saying, a lady named Britney Sparks is taking people's money and is not promising or is not giving uh, what she promised. They take stock photos, as you can see. Sparks scrolled through two social media accounts, both Facebook and Instagram, showing profiles that, sure enough, lead you to believe she's the curator, a problem she's traced back to March of last year. Someone showed up, knocked on the door, a man and a woman, and they said that, um, hi, we're here. Brittany Sparks sent us a message and then we sent her money. We're here to pick up our puppies. Sparks says those people showed her messages, alleged correspondences between she and they, people scammed by a hacker leaving Sparks concerned about her family's safety. HPD has been um, empathetic, but unfortunately they have told me that there's absolutely nothing that they could do because technically a crime hasn't been committed. Sparks says she sent messages to Facebook and Instagram stating her case over the past year. No resolution, though. The email that response that we typically get back is, well, we reviewed this case and we didn't find that this person was pretending to be used. Yeah, another live look at one of those posts, hundreds of dollars in items uh, Spark is being accused of selling. But again, she says that it is not her. Like all of those viewers, she reached out to Instagram, Facebook, their parent company, Meta, as did we, although like them, we've yet to receive a response. We're live for you tonight in the newsroom. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News. All right, Brandon, thank you.